guys and welcome back to my channel I hope that you all are doing extremely well and in today's video I am gonna present you my favorite fragrances for Valentine's Day you know all these 20 fragrances are Yana's approved because I was looking for sensual perfumes because for me Valentine's Day is the day that celebrates love maybe not everybody will spend that day on a date but still I have awesome unique fragrances for you so if you want to smell like nobody else you need to pick one of them because you know I'm into niche indie very luxurious perfumery so I think that my recommendations are gonna be different from what other people recommend and I have fragrances for every taste I'm promising you one of them are more sexy and seducing other ones are more romantic but all of them are very appropriate for Valentine's Day so if you are intrigued then please keep on watching and I would like to start with this perfume that is by DSH perfumes unfortunately I cannot pronounce its name but the scent is just stunning guys first of all I purchased it without testing it before so it was a blind buy for me I just liked the notes it is a modern vintage perfume and it has rose it has something very delicate and spicy to it but at the same time there is kind of like an aldehyde touch and a lot of animalic notes and those animalic notes they are so sensual and kind of sexy but very playful it is a glossy combination it is just such a stunning fragrance you know Don Spencer Harvitz the perfumer behind this house the owner of this house she is a genius I just adore her really like any Mali compositions I have another one foxy and this one is just much more sexy it is very seducing so if you're looking for something boozy heady sexy amazing with, with kind of like whiskey apple vibe going on foxy if you're going for something more mysterious at the same time date time appropriate not only like evening time go for this one I love this one so much I find that it is very special this one is just like it's intense it is sexy and this one is more mysterious and you know like if you want maybe to attract somebody maybe you're going on a date and you want like that person will be interested in you and you want like a very long-term relationship with that person so if you want like a little bit of intrigue then you need to get this one it is amazing it is unisex and oh my god if I would smell it on the person on a date I would be like please call me so this is awesome please 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 get it if you're looking for a natural perfume moving on to the next perfume that is called Harum Rose let's look at the bottle first it is so stunning I just cannot stand how beautiful the design of Fortin de Malais fragrances is and this perfume is by lovely and talented Rossi Ford who I admire and this is one of his most beautiful fragrances I feel like people talk about other perfumes like Bozhnikov's Purple Hat or the Confessions of the Garden Gnome Amber Absolutely and others but Herm Rose doesn't get enough of attention and I don't get why actually as I discovered this brand I had a sample kit and I gave them all to smell to my mom and this one stood out to her so I bought it for her and guys this is the perfume that you need to wear you know you smell it, it is attractive it is beautiful it is about the rose rose that is sensual rose that is romantic rose that is virgin rose that is seducing this is like I don't know it is just such an unusual take on rose and you know rose is most popular note in the perfumery ever so this is a very different rose to so unisex I heard that some people think that it is feminine no 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 you need to wear it guys because you smell it and yes it is kind of like about slightly oriental rose but if you wear it it gets dirty and that is so cool because you always want to to have something rosy and dirty sometimes and I feel like on the Valentine's Day if you want something very unusual very, very like dirty maybe but at the same time 
kind of kind of like oriental and classy you need to get this perfume it is so so beautiful i definitely recommend it to both men and women in my opinion it is unisex and i just like this kind of like I don't know, like patchouli earthy element. I don't want to say earthy, but it is dirty in the dry down. And I like how it projects. It is not a very projectable perfume, but it has nice longevity and it is noticeable. So if you plan to have something special going on on the Valentine's Day, this is the perfume that you need. And the next fragrance is not gonna be a surprise for any of you who watch my videos. Like, regularly because this is one and only Mandragola. I just feature this perfume in so many of my videos, especially in like sexy perfumes because this is sexy. This is seduction, guys. The bottle is just stunning. We have no time to talk about the packaging because Guys, this is just so beautiful, like look at it, it is just amazing. It is by Vucanto, it is an Italian perfume. If you're interested in my full review just on this perfume, check out this video by clicking somewhere over here. But with this perfume, you are, you're just the most, I don't know, like you have the power, you know, you can do everything that you want with people because there is no fragrance like this on the market. It is very special. I gave this perfume to quite a few of my friends and family members and they were like, what? They were like impressed so much and I was like, yes, this is Mandragola. So it is unisex. I was um, asked if this is like more feminine perfume. No, it is not a feminine perfume at all. It is Udi. It is a very different Udi scent. The roses there, the floral elements are there, the woody elements are there, and it is heady because of quite, you know, like boozy element of absinthe. So I just love my Rogola so much. It is a beast, guys. It is a beast. You can do like everything that you want. You're bewitching when you're wearing my Rogola and you bewitch people. I love this one so much. It is one of my most favorite perfumes ever. It is a masterpiece, and if you plan something serious, on the Valentine's Day, go for Mandragola. It is just the best and it is awesome. The next fragrance is gonna be very unique because I promised you something truly special and this is Mogao by Prin Perfume. First of all, Prin Lamrose, the perfumer and the owner of this house, he's genius. He creates fragrances in avant-garde style. So maybe if you're looking for something truly unique, amazing and special, mysterious with kind of like smoky background, you need to check out his compositions. And if you're looking for something, you know, like sexy, definitely check out this perfume. It features so many amazing notes. It is kind of sweet. It has very unusual citrusy and oriental element which is very 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 different it has sweet orange it has citron pepper which is one of my most favorite notes ever and it also has quite a few exotic notes so if you want to smell exotic if you want to smell like somebody who is from a different country different i don't know like continent go for this perfume it is so amazing if you just want to bring you and your partner to a different kind of location like visually or i don't know like imaginary then go for this perfume it is so beautiful it is like exotic a different take on oriental citrusy fragrance and i love it so much so as you have quite a few really sexy recommendations now if you want to smell romantic then you need to go for pink words by olivia durbano guys this is another rosy perfume but it is spicy and the spices here are very cold you know this is a cold perfume cold rosy spicy perfume it is amazing it has the best longevity and it is romantic everything that i want to tell it is romantic kind of spiritual if you like kazimi by house of matriarch you definitely need to check out pink quartz because i love it so much it is a very unisex rose guys men all men who watch my channel if you like rose and you're looking for something appropriate for an everyday basis and at the same time romantic and something that will attract women like very gentle women then go for pink quartz it is such an amazing perfume and on the woman it would be amazing as well because you know rose is always really nice on the women now for all the lovers of sweet and gourmand perfumes i have coco blanc surprise i know that this is a hyped perfume 
but that is for a good reason. This is just the perfume that makes your mouth watery. White chocolate, a lot of vanilla, kind of like slightly boozy, beautiful, smooth sandalwood. It is just everything that you want if you like Gourmand perfumes and you want to smell sensual. It's just not actually a very sexy perfume, like seducing fragrance. If you want something like that, go for Mandragola or DSH perfumes. If you want something very sensual, smooth and, you know, like something that will make your partner mouth watery, I don't know if that makes sense, but if you want that, go for Coco Blanc. Now, for all the lovers of Aventus, but if you like that vibe, you know, like kind of fruity, patchouli, birchy scent, I have an awesome option for you, which is Brasilia by Alexandria Fragrances. It is actually so much more affordable, smells exactly like that perfume, has amazing projection, it is sexy in the citrusy fruity way, which is awesome. It is awesome for everyday wear, but on the Valentine's Day, if you're that guy who is not a fan of oriental perfumes, who likes to smell fresh and citrusy and fruity, this is the one for you. It is awesome and I would enjoy it on the man who I am on a date with. Now, let's talk about Oud in Thinny by Dusita Perfumes. Guys, this is honestly one of my most favorite perfumes ever and I wish I could afford a full bottle. It is a beast that is like so tempting, woody, animalic. It is just one of the most master fully done perfumes that I have ever smelled. As I smelled this perfume, I was blown away, like blown away. You know, I love this perfume so much. If you have, like, if you can purchase it, like go for it, buy it blindly. Like, I don't care. It is just such a masterpiece. But it is animalic. It is really animalic. It is very nicely, very like, it is kind of like a mature animalic scent. It's not boozy, it is not heady, it is very, very, I don't know how to describe it. It is actually a very beautiful, rich, animalic, oody perfume and I recommend this for Valentine's Day and I just recommend this in general. Just unisex, it is awesome and oh my god, I don't know, I wish I could you know, I had a full bottle because this is just stunning. It is definitely a nighttime perfume. So if you're going out oud in thinny, I'm telling you, you will thank me. Now let's talk about something different, something floral, something from Grande Flora. And this is their fragrance Queen of the Night. Guys, this is another masterpiece that is so floral, that is so intense, it almost has something powdery and vintage, kind of like old-fashioned. And when I smell this perfume, I imagine a beautiful woman completely dressed up, like beautiful dress, long dress, really beautiful hairstyle, a lot of expensive jewelry, and she's going like to a very fancy event. If that's the case, you need to go for this because without this perfume your look is not completed. I love this perfume so much. It is very floral, it is very intense, it is very, I don't want to say overpowering, but you need to wear it on a special occasion. This is only special occasion fragrance and Valentine's Day is perfect for it. Now, the next perfume is very special. I'm sure you have never heard about it before, but as I've tried, I couldn't resist it and I bought a full bottle. This is Mythical Woods by Profumi del Forte. This is an Italian perfume. The bottle is just stunning. It is quite affordable and it is so sexy. Oh my god, when I smell it, I'm like, whoa. So it has the best projection ever. It is a nice performer. I want to say that straight away. It is Uri and woody and I like the warmth of saffron in the opening but then it, it just never goes away completely it stays there it just gets like more subtle so I love this perfume so much warm woody woodsy and very mysterious very mysterious if you want to smell the most mysterious you can go for this perfume, just go for it if you like saffron, oh my god, and it is affordable, and it is awesome, and oh my god, guys, oh my god, what are you waiting for? If you have never ever smelled it, at least smell it, because it is just 
stunning and you know you can seduce with this perfume especially if you're a woman but if you're a man and you want to seduce like if you're like that then go for it the next fragrance is also the one that i like a lot and it is tango by masca milano another italian perfume i just don't know i i think that italians they have that amazing style and their fragrances are so different definitely my favorites so tango is the perfume that i have been talking about on my channel for quite a while now and this is an ambery spicy miracle this is the perfume that you want to apply like want to wear when you're going out like if you're going dancing and then you plan something special something sexy then tango is the one that you need because it's quite spicy and like Woo, first but then like in the dry down it gets very like salty and sexy and I just love it so much guys with tango you cannot go wrong if you're a man if you're a woman doesn't matter who you are you need this perfume because it's just awesome if you like amber then this is the number one for a Valentine's Day for you and now something very special something amazing this is a perfume that is called Hind and it is by Abdul Karim Al Faransi and this guys is one of most special things I have ever smelled uh, the review is coming really soon on his entire line or almost entire line and look at this look at this it is just so beautiful and this particular fragrance it is kind of cooling and minty but then it gets very sweet floral with something woodsy in it it's just a miracle if you like oriental perfumes if you're that person Oh my god, you need to check out his website, the link is down below to all brands that I'm talking about and you need to check out his perfumes. They are pretty affordable, the projection is crazy, the longevity is like two days and I just love them. I was never into oriental perfumes, this changed my vision about them. I love this one, you know, if you like sweet oriental perfumes but you know the special thing about this one is that it has something like almost minty to it which is so unusual so definitely check this one out it is called Hind and it is amazing and now I have something for those of you who live in a warmer climate somewhere in Australia for example where Valentine's Day is not in the winter when it's snowing like now in Germany when the sun is shining I have sun tan glam for you, the collaboration between one of my most favorite perfumers, Sven Fritz Collide, and one of my most favorite journalists and just, you know, like, fragrance maniacs like me, Miguel Matos from Fragrantica. You know, this is their perfume, Saint and Glam, which is one of the most sexy perfume ever. It evokes literally those memories being at the beach, applying a sand and lotion on a hot body, and that's exactly how it smells. It is like coconutty, it is milky, it is beautiful, very sexy, it smells like a hot body with a suntan lotion on it. Amazing, not sticky, not like cloying, it is just awesome. So if you're somewhere when the sun is shining and it's really, really hot, this is what you need on a Valentine's Day. However, if you're somewhere in Canada when it is like extremely cold and everything is covered in snow, you need to get Civet by Zoologist because this is sexy, but at the same time it is warm, spicy, very deep, very, very beautiful perfume. I honestly have never smelled a perfume like this. It is different from DSH perfumes. It is just something much more boozy, maybe heady, maybe spicy, I don't know. It almost has something like a fruity and maybe berry, maybe something delicious to it, I don't know. Maybe th that are the spices that just, you know, smell to me that way. But I feel that this is an awesome perfume, maybe if you're going out, but even if you're staying at home, this is a nice one because it is also very cozy. Another fragrance that is super special is Bond Tea by San Marco. And Bond Tea has such a high like potion of chocolate 
and like cacao, oh my god, you have never smelled a perfume like this. All those chocolatey fragrances that you smelled before, forget them. Get this one. You know, it is delicious, it is sexy, it is sensual, it is mysterious, and it is chocolatey. It is just awesome, 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 guys. I know that everybody who smells this perfume, even though it is quite intense, deep, and rich, they love it. Even my boyfriend, who is like the, the biggest, he's very ju judgmental with perfumes, but he loves this one. And it is just a huge, you know, like thing when he loves something. So it is just awesome. It would be amazing on men and women. And if you're going on a date, or maybe if you spend Valentine's Day with your family, with your husband, with your wife, at home, if you're having a nice dinner, romantic dinner, Bond tea. I'm telling you, Bond tea, you need it. Now, let's talk about India by Marina Barcinia. And India is the perfume that is about India, that is about spices, that is about amber, and that is about flowers. And this is a very beautiful floral perfume indeed. It is very sensual. It is not sexy, it is not flirty, it is not romantic. It's just very, very sensual with a lot of different things going on. It is a very complex perfume, very easy to wear. It has amazing longevity even though it is a natural perfume. And I just find that for all of you guys who like like very unique perfumes, perfumes that need a little bit of time to understand them like you love it immediately but you need to wear it a little bit like to to get like the full beauty out of it so i just love india so much i just think that this is a beautiful perfume to wear maybe like every day if you want just smell gorgeous but on the valentine's day it is especially nice and i just love india so so much now this list wouldn't be completed without eras fig by libertine Fragrance. This is the perfume that is on the oily base with a roller top and oh my god, like this is the perfume for those of you who live once again in a warmer environment because it starts quite like green and crispy but then like it turns very delicious like 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 dried uh, fruits and honey and in the dry down it gets sensual and almost sexy because of emerald seeds it, it is very kind of like musky. It is very attractive scent, like the dry down. This perfume goes through so many stages, another kind of like complex composition, and I love it so, so much. I have it in a roller bowl, so, bottle, so you, you could think that the, the projection is not the best, the performance is not the best, but I promise you that it is such a good performer. Even like on the oily base to so intense and it does project so I think if you get it in the alcohol base and spray it you will get even better performance so I just love it so much definitely recommend it to men and women and it is just a perfume that goes through a lot of stages and since it is quite crispy in the uh, beginning I recommend it to people who live in a really warm environment so Oh My Soul by 4160 Tuesdays is the most cozy, the most sensual, the most sexy fragrance I can recommend you. This is a cozy perfume with a lot of flowers that is powdery, rosy, very ambery and sandalwoody and I just love it guys, love. This is actually my favorite fragrance of January. It blew me away, blew me away. So definitely check out my review on it. But I feel that if you're looking for something very cozy, for something very alluring, you need to get this one. The projection, woo, and the longevity is crazy. And I love it. It is unisex in my opinion, more feminine than masculine, but still unisex. And I love every single thing about it. Now, two perfumes from more popular brands. One of them is by Killian and one of them is Penhaligans. Let's start with this one first. And it was such a huge surprise for me to discover this perfume because I personally don't like Penhaligans that much. And I tried this perfume and I was so, so surprised by it because the opening is so amazing and unusual. It is very heady and that is because of gin. It actually features the note of gin and I don't 
want to say that it smells like exactly as gin, but it definitely has something piney, heady, you know, like wotsy, and then it is the rose. Very peppery, spicy, cold rose. It is awesome. It is quite an unusual rose. And if you like the halogens and you don't have this perfume, then you're missing out, guys. You're missing out. I don't like the halogens, but I love this perfume. I wish I had it in a bottle and I think it is definitely much more masculine perfume than than you know a unisex but still I could wear it so I would love to smell it on a date on the man so if you're a man and you like the halogens and if you can purchase it go for it the one by Killian is much more feminine than the one by Penhaligans and this perfume it is just about flowers it's just so intense it is very very beautiful it is very opulent it is quite intense if you're a woman and if you want to impress some guy woo, you need to get this perfume oh gosh i just find that the flowers like ylang ylang to rose they are so so opulent here quite intense look at that this woman this is exactly as this perfume smells this is like it, it is called Voulez-vous coucher avec moi? I'm sorry, my French is the most horrible one, but I, I think it's like, do you want to sleep with me or something? Or have sex, sex with me? And you know, with this perfume you say yes, because damn, you say yes! And that completes this video! And I hope that you really enjoyed watching it, I hope that you enjoy my mood, because I'm really excited today to share with you these amazing perfumes now i'm smelling like and oh my god i'm enjoying it so much so please please go for these perfumes on a valentine's day and you will have the most beautiful one that you have ever had and you will thank me because my recommendations are the best and i'm not afraid to say that because you know that my taste is different it is very very exquisite so yeah guys that completes this video i hope that you enjoyed watching it definitely check out the official website of the brands that are listed down below don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and we'll see each other in my next one really soon bye